Hi, my name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief Wikivids video about James Hutton. James Hutton, June 3, 1726 to March 26, 1797, was a Scottish geologist, physician, chemical manufacturer, naturalist, and experimental agriculturalist. He originated the theory of uniformitarianism, a fundamental principle of geology which explains the features of the Earth's crust by means of natural processes over geologic time. Hutton's work established geology as a proper science, and thus he is often referred to as the father of modern geology. Through observation and carefully reasoned geological arguments, Hutton came to believe that the Earth was perpetually being formed. He recognized that the history of the Earth could be determined by understanding how processes such as erosion and sedimentation work in the present day. His theories of geology and geologic time, also called deep time, came to be included in theories that were called Plutonism and Uniformitarianism. Some of his writings anticipated the Gaia hypothesis. In the early 1750s Hutton moved to one of his farms in Berwickshire and set about making improvements. This developed his interest in meteorology and geology while his farming activities continued. In 1764 he went on a geological tour of the north of Scotland with George Maxwell Clerk ancestor of the famous James Clerk Maxwell. Between 1767 and 1774 Hutton was involved with the construction of the Forth and Clyde Canal, making full use of his geological knowledge, and attended meetings including extended site inspections of all the works. In 1777 he published a pamphlet on considerations on the nature, quality and distinctions of coal and comb. Hutton had a variety of ideas to explain the rock formations he saw around him. But he was in no haste to publish his theory, for he was one of those who were much more delighted with the contemplation of truth, than with the praise of having discovered it. After some 25 years of work, his theory of the earth, or an investigation of the laws observable in the composition, dissolution, and restoration of land upon the globe was read to meetings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. Hutton subsequently read an abstract of his dissertation concerning the system of the earth its duration and stability at a society meeting on July 4, 1785, which he had printed and circulated privately. His theory proposed that the solid parts of the present land appear in general, to have been composed of the productions of the sea, and of other materials similar to those now found upon the shores, and that the greater part of our land, if not the whole had been produced by operations natural to this globe. In 1785, Hutton found granite penetrating metamorphic schists which indicated that the granite had been molten at the time. This showed to him that granite formed from cooling of molten rock, not precipitation out of water as others at the time believed. He spent the next several years exploring the land and nearby islands, carefully inspecting a wide variety of geological formations and phenomena. The idea that the earth is alive is found in philosophy and religion, but the first scientific discussion was introduced by James Hutton. In 1785, he stated that the Earth was a superorganism and that its proper study should be physiology. Although his views anticipated the Gaia hypothesis, proposed in the 1960s by scientist James Lovelock, his idea of a living Earth was forgotten in the intense reductionism of the 19th century. From 1791 Hutton suffered extreme pain from stones in the bladder and gave up field work to concentrate on finishing his books. A dangerous, and painful, Operation failed to resolve his illness. He died in Edinburgh on March 26, 1797 and was buried in the vault of Andrew Balfour, opposite the vault of his friend Joseph Black, in the now sealed southwest section of Greyfriars Kirkyard commonly known as the Covenanters Prison. Well my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video about James Hutton. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivids.